Hey, what's up everybody? This is Neil Bob, sir of Medscapes at Differential. Today I'll be talking about anatomy and our first impressions of medical students. Today I have with me Adam, Tom, Ayodeji, and they're giving their perspective on how things are going. Started cadaver dissections a few weeks ago. It's been really interesting. It's a really experience. The uh, it's my first time seeing a dead body, and uh, the idea that this was somebody who not long ago was uh, was recently alive. It's, it's an, it takes a little bit of an adjustment. The hands for me are the strangest part. They're the most humanizing aspect. Uh, you, the rest of the body, you know, it's laid out. It's obviously gone through a process of embalming and preservation to be here. The hands are obviously not unique in that, but it's when you see them, they're still. So much more human than than any other part of it, uh, but it's it's an incredible learning experience. There's no, in my opinion, admittedly, it's limited experience, but there's no substitute for uh, for dissecting an actual body. Virtual just just wouldn't cut it. Uh, the very first time they put us in the anatomy lab was interesting because we were all gathered around one table, and there was a lady giving us instructions on. Uh, what the rules of the lab were. And I think there was this tension in the room as we waited for the first time we would see the bodies. And there was a point where she uncovered the legs. Uh, and I think that at that moment, it was like, okay, you know, we've started anatomy. And a few minutes after that, uh, we were cutting up the back. For me, it was interesting because by the time we were done on the first day, the person no longer looked like a person. And you never had the opportunity to, to consider their humanity. The fact that your hands were not in a specimen, but in a person. <laughs> it's Tom, I'm a first year medical student at uh, Rutgers New Jersey Medical School. We got Ayadeji and Neil in the background over there. <laughs> so we're, we're in the anatomy lab. We just finished up that section of the forearm. Um, it was really cool actually because we got like there's so many muscles in the form I couldn't even believe it um, and I guess it makes sense because you know your fingers can do like so many more diverse movements than like like your elbow which pretty much just does this um, so it was really cool as we were dissecting like we had to kind of pull on some of the tendons in the forearm and like you'd see like you know you, if you pull on like the flexor carpus I mean I already forgot the names but basically there's one that's like superficial and that like that flexes this joint here or I'm not doing it right that one and the one that's profundus flexes that one up there so it's really cool kind of like pulling the different tendons and like seeing like what it moves um yeah so I, i've definitely enjoyed like that part of anatomy so first things first my first impression of anatomy was something deep and unsettling seeing a corpse lying in front of me a cadaver that was lifeless but had limbs had arms had legs had a face that i could recognize really made the whole process so much more surreal it's hard to describe exactly what i felt but it's easy to feel once you're in the room. And being given the privilege as a medical student to learn more about the human body through a first experience is a privilege that I can't really be grateful enough for. With that said, anatomy is really hard. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in my entire life. Knowing where every single nerve is, every single artery, every single vein. And apparently it made it easier for us this year by removing a few structures, which makes me even go more bananas for the people who had it last year. Overall, advice for people who are first starting anatomy, uh, just prepare yourself. Be ready, be respectful, be ready to understand that it won't be easy. Read some textbooks, look at some videos, just get involved. Okay, this is Neil Bobstar signing out. The differential is now over. Thanks so much for having this conversation with us. Thanks so much for my peers for sharing their journeys and their experiences. Hope to see you guys next time. Definitely check us out on WebMD or Medscape. Uh, the differential has many different posts about med school studies, med school struggles, and generally the entire story of what it means to be a medical student.